16 versus 32 gigabytes of RAM in Star Citizen is one of the most commonly asked questions we see about performance. But I did make a video about this four years ago, but it's time to revisit this. So we're gonna have a look at hard faults. We're gonna compare FPS this time, and we're gonna look at some frame time graphs. And if you have 16 gigabytes in your system right now, this video could genuinely change your Star Citizen life. For everyone else, well, it's just pretty interesting. So as always, we've tested around Lawville. I'm using my minimum spec system here. We're using the i5-10400 and 1660. First with 16 gigabytes of RAM I tested and then with 32 gigabytes of RAM. The kits are, oh, they should have in theory been identical. I, I thought I'd bought identical kits, but actually the 32 gigabyte kit is slightly slower. The timings are slightly looser, but as you'll see actually, that almost proves the point even more as we get on to the results. Now I'm gonna reuse this little explainer from my lovely wife from all those years ago about hard faults and page files. A page file is an area on the hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM. Hard faults occur when a memory block has to swap to a page file instead of physical memory. We're using resource monitor to look at page files here. So unfortunately the graphs have not recorded well. I don't know what's going on there all sorts of weirdness going on. But on the left, we've got 16 gigabytes, and on the right, we've got 30 gigabytes. And you can see that the used physical memory is just much higher, obviously, on the 16 gigabytes. Uh, and for the 32 gigabytes, we're not full at all. We've got free memory, basically. We've got some spare. But as this run goes, keep an eye on the whole hard fault bit over here. I'll use the arrows to label it up for you. But you can see that there's a lot of stuff going on with memory compression on the 16 gigabyte version and also started in itself is having to use the page file because it's run out of physical memory. Whereas on the 32 gigabyte version, we've basically got no hard faults whatsoever. So this is kind of the behind the scenes of what's going on, what is causing uh, potential problems when you've got 16, 16 gigabytes. And you also, if you don't set your page file to be large enough, you can run out of space and effectively the game will just crash. So often if you've got 16 gigabytes, you will have a much better time if you increase the size of your page file. If you're crashing, especially in the cities, increasing the size of your page file can actually help you to stop crashing, but it won't necessarily improve performance. So let's now look at actual performance. I've done 20 runs each in Lawville, and you can see here that, well, as you might expect, performance is slightly better on the 32 gigabyte version of this. I mean, slightly better is uh, actually probably not the right term. It's significantly better when you're looking at the one percent percentile. So this isn't necessarily because your system is running faster when you are, have got 32 gigabytes uh, of RAM in. It's more that it's not having the big spikes when you go to the page file. So you're not having big drops, FPS drops and losing frames. And let me show you some of those big spikes. So this is a frame time graph for the 16 gigabyte setup. And you can see here that there's some huge spikes, like big, big, multiple second spikes on these ones. So 20 runs again in Lawville. Um, some of these over no, nearly 4,000 milliseconds. So crazy, crazy drops. And, it, and this just generally is the experience when you're playing with 16 gigabytes. There's m many more spikes, many more frame hitches and drops. That's just how it works. That's always been how it's worked. Um, and so most people's experience when they upgrade from 16 gigabytes to, to 32, is just that the great game seems to get much smoother. Let's compare these now side by side. So I've effectively changed the range to be both to be about 900 milliseconds. And again, you can see that the 32 gigabyte system is just much, much smoother. Uh, it, it, there's no comparison and you just have these bigger hitches and bigger spikes on the 16 gigabyte system. So the results kind of speak for themselves. 16 gigabytes whilst playable and I'm still saying is just about a minimum, 32 gigabytes is much, much smoother. Less hitches, frame time is much better. Overall is a much better experience. But it's tricky to say whether if you've got an older system like this or a lower end system like this, whether it's really worth spending the money to invest more into this sort of system. You obviously could go out, get a 32 gigabyte kit of RAM, pop it in your system, but you've really only smoothed out performance. You haven't increased the overall average. So it will depend on what boat you're in. If you are really limited for money and you've got a system with 16 gigabytes in, then yes, popping in 32 gigabytes is a good upgrade. 
But actually, if you're thinking, I really want to have much better performance and hit more like 40, 50, 60 FPS, then you'd be better off actually just getting a new system. So it depends where you're at. It's still a good question and it's still a question that comes up a lot. So hopefully this video has been helpful.